include everything. All right, guys, we are in what I believe to be one of the last videos, uh, assuming I don't come back to this project. Let's go ahead and run this real quick. Uh, so what we're going to do is basically turn these seconds into minutes and then format the code uh, accordingly. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is the uh, session time. Now what we're going to need to do, let me go ahead and pull up my code, is we're going to need to, when we click start, convert this minutes into seconds. Pretty straightforward. So all we have to do here for the start is say, look, take our, take our, um, oops, there it goes. Take our, uh, our count here and go ahead and set it equal to a correct value. So we're going to say, look, count is equal to count times 60. So basically take that number and put in the 60. So we'll go ahead and run it right now and you'll see that we're just going to have uh, just going to take our 5 and it's going to turn it into a very like 300. Cool. So that's working. So next what we want to do is we actually want to format that down uh, in our actual code because right now uh, our logic is sound but we need to format it. No one really counts seconds. We want it to look much more normal than that. So the way that we can do that is uh, we're going to have to use the if else statement. Um, so here we can do if and then we can do an else. So the reason for that is there's certain rules and parameters when dealing with uh, when the way that modulo that it's not going to format it correctly. So we'll do the, the major if statement. So if again remember this is our so we're, what we're basically going to say is, look, if count modulo 60 is greater than 10, greater than or equal to 10, meaning if it's not a single digit number, what we want to do is we want to target that, num, our output, and say, look, change that HTML. And uh, first thing that we want to do is count divided by 60 plus the colon uh, plus count modulo 60. Now I'm going to show you this. This isn't going to be perfect quite yet. So I'm going to take out this else statement real quick. Uh, just so that you can see see the formatting and why we're going to use math.floor here. So let's go ahead and start. And you're going to see that it's going to form Why did it do that? Oh, I see why I did that. So we have to take out this line of code. Um, let's go ahead and run that. I forgot that we already put our HTML <laughs> in there. Let's go ahead and actually close that out as well. So I click start, now it should have our format. So you're seeing right now, there's our seconds, but uh, unfortunately this is uh, has a uh, we need to actually get rid of this remainder so pr pretty straightforward all we're gonna do here is do math.floor and this will get rid of it so go ahead and run that so you'll see right here everything's counting down properly pretty cool but uh, I mentioned that we are going to need to use a little bit different logic and we're going to go ahead and let this count down right now for the next minute. Maybe I'll speed it up, maybe I won't. Great opportunity to go ahead and check out my Patreon page. A new blog is going up on it as well. Kind of how my channel started is basically what it will be covering. Um, good time to shout out some future sponsors. CodeMentor.io. I'll be doing some sponsored videos. And luckily they'll be letting me do some React courses to review for them. And also... Um, Quick shout out to Eric Search 6 on YouTube. We're going to be doing some collaborations together. I'm very excited about it. He's a much larger YouTuber than myself, and he's really taking a liking to my channel and wants to support it. So thank you to Eric for that. But all right, so we'll see right here that now this logic doesn't work. So uh, what we have to do here, uh, unfortunately, because the way I did this logic, I just realized this is not actually going to display it. Um, it's still working. It's just not going to display it. 
So let's go, just go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and just throw it in here. So again, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go target the num and what we wanna do for the num dot html, we're gonna do the same thing that's in here, except we're gonna add a zero because it's gonna return a single digit number and we don't want that. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and add a plus and then the string zero and that should fix it. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll see that everything will work. And cool. Work. Uh, yeah, some other interesting collabs coming on uh, is uh, I'll be doing a lot with my good buddy Matt Tran from his channel Engineer Truth along with um, a gentleman by the name of Steven uh, Mayanex, or I, I, I forget his last name, but he's, uh, he's going to be doing an advanced algorithm one with me as well, so kind of cool stuff. Uh, so let's see here, we got about 30 seconds to go. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is basically just going to be formatting, and we're going to do the same exact thing for break time, and then you're done. Um, pretty cool stuff. So let's, let's go ahead and wait up here, just make sure everything works. And this is exactly how I did my code as well. So you'll see right there, cool, everything's working. So let's go ahead and just copy our code here. This is really all we need to do. So we're gonna jump down to our break time and you'll see right here. Go ahead and throw that in there. So instead of count, we're gonna change this to break time. And instead of num, we're gonna set that to break num. And then so count here, we're gonna go ahead and put in break time. Break time. Break num. Break time. Break time. Uh, ooh, looks like I may have forgotten that. We need to delete this line as well. Oops. Let's go up, make sure I. Alright, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this, make sure everything works. Uh, go to do that, and I will be right back. I'm gonna just go ahead and stop the video, and uh, when the five minutes uh, elapse, we'll come back and uh, you'll see that the break time is working, hopefully. Alright, guys, so what, things are wrapping up real quick. So we're basically just checking to make sure that we didn't mess up on our logic here for our break timer. So if everything works accordingly, we should transition nicely right here. Uh, I'm not gonna wait for it to go to single digits, but everything should be nice Time's and up. clean. Interesting. Time's so, up. So our break time, we never set to uh, be in minutes. So it still worked in seconds, so we know our single digit is working. So all I'm going to do is do exactly what I did in the timer here, except for count times are equal to 60. We're going to go ahead and do like so. So we're going to set count, except this is going to be break time times equals 60. Cool. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, I'll, I'll try to do more of the advanced projects as they come along. Um, as always guys, thank you for liking and sharing. It helps the channel more than you could ever know. And a special thanks to anyone on Patreon who takes their hard earned money to support the channel. That goes above and beyond and there's all I can really do is keep putting out content for you and hopefully uh, get your approval. Uh, but as always guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. For watching the video, don't forget to check out my collaboration with Eric Surf6 going over how to get started coding. And if you're looking for some coding help, go to Code Mentor using the annotation or card. And if you're looking for internships or part time jobs or full time jobs as a student or a recent grad, check out wayup.com. See you guys next time.